The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on December 6, 1972, in Amibad, India. Now, in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita, it is the setup. Krishna and Arjuna, uh, according to the order of Arjuna, uh, Krishna placed the chariot in between the two two planches of soldiers. Chenaya rubhar madhe ratas thapaya me achyuta. Arjuna was respectful to Krishna. Krishna has accepted to be chariot, uh, inferior position. As Arjuna is sitting on the throne and Krishna has uh, taken the inferior position, driving the chariot. So this is very nice position uh, for devotional service. Uh, uh, those who are not devotees, uh, they aspire to become Krishna. Their aspiration is to merge into the existence of the Supreme or to become one with Krishna. But in devotional service, uh, it is not the desire of the devotee to become one with Krishna. But sometimes to uh, make Krishna as the order carrier of the devotee. To become one with Krishna, it may be a very great position, but to become the, hmm, I mean, command, commander of Krishna, uh, that is another thing. That position is greater than to become one with Krishna. Uh, <coughs> so there are five kinds of liberation. Uh, sajujya. The first liberation is supposed to be sajujya, means to become one with the Supreme. Uh, the Mayabhar philosopher, monist, they as far after Sajujya Mukti. But the devotees, Vaishnavas, they do not as far after Sajujya Mukti. Uh, they are, for them there are other four kinds of Mukti. Sarupa, uh, Salukya, Sasti, Samit. And those who are uh, still further advanced, they do not want any kind of mukti. Uh, neither of these five kinds of mukti. Uh, just like Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, he prays, na dhanang na janang na sundaring kavitang ma jagadisa kama. This is pure devotional prayer. Uh, the devotee does not approach the Supreme for any material gain. Uh, that pure devotion means without any aspiration of any kind of material gain or even spiritual gain. Uh, annavilāsitā sunnam jñāna karmād anābṛtam ānukullena kṛṣṇānu śrīdalam bhakti uttamā. Uttamā bhakti, first class bhakti. Uh, what is that? Annavilāsitā sunnam uh, without any kind of desire than to serve the Lord. And in the Srimad Bhagavatam also it is said 
सभी पुंसांग परो धर्म परो मीन्स ट्रांसेंडेंटल बियॉन्ड दिस मेटीरियल कॉन्सेप्शन कृष्णा और द एब्सुलूट नारायण दैट इज परो नारायण परो अब बक्त्या नारायण इज नॉट एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड नारायण कृष्ण विष्णु एब्सुलूट फर्स्ट ऑफ गॉड है ही इज नॉट एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड वैन वी यूज दिस वर्ड निराका दैट मीन्स ही इज फॉर ही इज नॉट एनीथिंग ऑफ दिस मेटीरियल वर्ल्ड बट ही हैज गॉट इज फॉर्म That is uh, transcendental form, Satchidananda Bigra. Uh, Nidakar means uh, he he has no such form as we have got this material form. Uh, this material form is neither of the three transcendental bliss, Satchit Ananda. Uh, this is uh, Asat, Achit. And Nidanam, this body, this material body, is asat, achit, and Nidanam. Therefore, when in the Vedic literature or an authorized statement we find Niraka, that means uh, uh, his form does not belong to this uh, asat, achit, or Nidanam. But he has his form. Dibbam, Janma Karma me Dibbam. Dibbam transcendent. And Sipat Sankaracharya also, who especially preached impersonalism, he also admits the Narayana para abhaktat. Narayana, the form of Narayana, is beyond the range of this abhakta, uh, abhakta, and this world is creation, uh, abhaktyat annasambhava. This world is creation of this abhakta. Uh, and beyond this abhakta, there is another uh, nature, that is spiritual nature. Uh, that is explained in the Bhagavad Gita, parastasvatu bhava anya. भक्ता भक्त्या सनातन सो दिस सिचुएशन कृष्ण इज एडवाइजिंग आई मीन से अर्जुन एडवाइजिंग रथस्थापन में अच्युत अच्युत कृष्ण इज नॉट च्युत Krishna is achuta. Achuta means those who are fallen in the material world. They are achuta. Uh, we are fallen in the material world. Therefore, we have accepted this material body. Icha desha samuthena sarve janti parantapa. Icha. Icha means desire, and desha means envy, enviousness. Icha desha samuthena. When we become envious of Krishna, and we want to enjoy this material world, then we come to this material creation. Icha desha samuthena sarve janti param. So, uh, any one of us who is in this material world, having a material body, beginning from Brahma down to the ant, a small ant, any one of them, in the Brahma Sangita it is said that Jastindra Gopa Mathavendra Maho Sakarma. बंधान रूप फल भाजन मात नोती इंद्र गोप देर इज एन इंसेक्ट विच इज 
God in Sanskrit language as Indra-gopa. It is micro. Uh, you cannot see uh, with um, this naked eyes. So uh, this micro is called Indra and there is another Indra, the king of him. So the brahma Sangha is just to uh, Indra-gopa uh, uh, and Mahendra, the king of heaven, beginning from this Indra-gopa up to the king of heaven, everyone is subjected to uh, enjoy or suffer the resultant action of this karma. Uh, by karma, by the resultant action of karma, one has become the king of heaven and by similarly, this, uh, by karma, resultant action of karma, one has become the microbic insect. Uh, this is the material world. There are eight million four hundred thousand types of forms of this material body and we are uh, wondering sarvagata uh, in different planets and different forms. This is material world. And in the material world, whatever form we may have, we have got attachment for this body. Not only attachment, we are under the impression that I am this body, everyone. That is material conception of life. So that thing happened to Arjuna in the battlefield. He identified himself as the body. He thought himself that he belongs to the Guru family and his family relatives, his other side, his brother, nephews, or his grandfather. So uh, he refused to fight, uh, my dear Krishna. Uh, after placing the chariot between the two parties, Sinayor Ubhayor Madhi Ratas Hapaya Mayochuta. And then he became very much disturbed that I have to kill the other side, my brother and my nephews, my grandfather. No, no. Krishna, I cannot. Uh, this is not possible. I shall not fight. This is the uh, stage of Bhagavad Gita. Uh, uh, Krishna uh, um, became uh, very much dissatisfied. Uh, of course, Arjun played the part of a conditioned soul. A conditioned soul is under the impression that he is the body. That is uh, animal life. In the Shastra, it is said, anyone who is identifying himself with this material body, he is animal. Gokhara. Saiva Gokhara. Go means cows and khara means ass. Jashyatma buddhi kunapi tidhatake sadhik kalatra visubhoma ijyadhi jatītha buddhi salile na karhiti janesu avigyesu saiva bhokara. Jasya, anyone who is identifying this himself with this body, which is made of tridhāsu, according to Ayurvedic medical system, this body is production of kapha, pitta, vayu. Uh, <coughs> or in our modern medical science, uh, anatomy, physiology. Uh, this body is a combination of uh, bones, muscles, skin, blood, urine, stool, that's all. <coughs> so, Shastra says, if anyone thinks 
that he is this lump of bone, flesh, blood, urine and stool, jasyātma buddhi kunapi sridhādhi, and sadhik kalatrādhi shu, and the production of this bones and flesh, kalatra vishu, uh, because we have got relationship uh, here in this material world with wife, kalatra means wife. Uh, kalatra, kalatra vishu, beginning from wife, wife produces so many children, uh, therefore adi, the beginning is wife. So, sadi uh, kalatra vishu, the wife and my children, they are mine. Oh. Uh, Keith and King, Sadhik uh, Kalapra, Sadhik, they are my own. Everyone is working. Even a uh, uh, great economist, Mr. Marshall, he says that economic development begins from family affection. Uh, family affection. So, unless one thinks that he has to maintain his wife, children, family, there is no question of economic development. Impetus. So, jasyat muddhi kunape vidhātake sadhit kalatrādiṣu and bhoma yajadhi, bhoma, this art as worshipable. Bhava in Jadhi, Jati Thavuddhi Shalile. And for pilgrimage, the one who thinks that the water is Tirtha. Tirtha means where one can get transcendental knowledge. Sadhik Kalatra Dishu Bhava in Jadhi, Jati Thavuddhi Shalile. Na Karihiti Janesu Avigneshu. But, has no interest to associate with persons who is expert in transcendental knowledge. Such these persons, they are called gokhara. Gokhara means cows and asses. So, Arjun played the part of a gokhara. In the battlefield of Kurukshetra, he played the part of an ordinary person, gokhara who is identifying this body as self, uh, therefore he required instruction. Uh, uh, not only uh, he becomes so much overwhelmed that uh, he gave up his arrows and bows and sat down tightly. My dear Krishna, I am not, uh, I cannot fight. And he was crying. Uh, not only he gave up his duty, he was Kshatriya and uh, he was crying, Oh, I will have to kill my kinsman. No, no, I cannot kill. So the, this is the setup in the first chapter of the Bhagavad Gita. This is the summit. Uh, now, Sanjaya Ubas, the Sanjaya is speaking to Dhritarashtra. Sanjaya he is seeing the battlefield uh, within his heart. That is another television. And by the grace of Bas Dev, he learned the art uh, that he advanced. Uh, he was so much advanced that they just like we see television relay from the uh, battlefield. And he, Dujjadana, I mean, Dhritarashtra was blind, and his secretary, Sanjaya, he was speaking, he was seeing the activities in the battlefield. Dhritarashtra uh, inquired from him, dharma chetre kuru chetre samabhita jidusthara mamaka pandavas chaiva kimakur vata sanya. He was asking uh, Sanya, uh, what they, did they do? Uh, uh, Kim akhavvata sanya. Uh, that was the question. And uh, first of all, uh, Sanjaya described the arrangement in the battlefield, and then he is speaking. Now, uh, sometimes uh, Bhagavad Gita is misinterpreted that uh, uh, this 
that i mean to say dharma khetra kuru khetra means this body uh, uh, we do not misinterpret in that way uh, there is no question of misinterpretation uh, we are presenting bhagavad gita as it is uh, we do not change by our physical imagination concoction we do not uh, uh, interpret the words of the bhagavad gita according to our own desire no actually uh, from literary point of view interpretation is required when things are not understood very clearly uh, then interpretation is required in the law court when the lawyers try to interpret before the uh, uh, judge when the uh, um, terms are not very clear and uh, that is the same way in uh, in among the um, associates and society of learned scholars interpretation is not required when the things are very clear uh, just like the sun sun sign sun light uh, there is no need of a, a, a lamp to show the sun the sun is self effulgent it is already there light is there why one should take a lamp to show the sun uh, this misinterpretation has uh, killed the spirit the uh, real essence of uh, bhagavad gita so there are so many editions and so many misinterpretation uh, our discussion consciousness moment our proposition is that we are Uh, mm, I am just presenting Bhagavad Gita as it is. We do not misinterpret. So, Dharma Khetra Kuru Khetra. Kuru Khetra is Dharma Khetra, uh, the place where religious ritualistic performances are done. Kuru uh, Khetra Dharma Maasare. That is the Vedic verse. So Kuru Khetra is always still people go for pilgrimage in Kuru Khetra and the station is there Kuru Khetra and the place is there people go there uh, Kuru Khetra uh, uh, why one should interpret that Kuru Khetra means this body and Pandava means this Pancha in the so many things uh, there is no question of interpretation and this uh, Mahabharat. Mahabharat means the history of Greater India. That is Mahabharat. Uh, history. It is history. Uh, it is not a fiction. It is history. Uh, Mahabharat. Uh, this planet was formerly known as Bharatvas. This planet, the whole planet, not that the piece of land as we are calling now Bharatvas. No. Before that, this planet was known as uh, Ilavati Vars, and after the reign of uh, Maharaj Bharat, the son of Vishabde, this planet became Bharat Vars. Uh, so Bharat Vars means the whole planet. But we have uh, uh, lost, just like we have lost a portion of the present Bharat Vars as Pakistan. Everyone knows. Twenty uh, years before, there was no such thing as Pakistan, but circumstantially we have lost. So, so the whole Bharat Varsha has been partitioned. As this portion is called America, this portion is called Europe, this portion is called Asia. These are modern names. Uh, actually, the whole planet was Bharat Varsha. And the whole planet was being controlled by Vedic culture. Uh, so, as we have lost our Vedic culture, as we could not control the others, other people in other part of the world by our culture, by our political uh, maneuver, we have lost. Uh, even after the day of battlefield of Kurukshetra. Uh, why Kurukshetra? Up to the time of Maharaj Parikhi, the 
whole world was being controlled by one king in New Delhi, Hastinapur. Uh, uh, there was no other king. And when the battlefield was there, battle was there, all people from all parts of body, uh, all parts of the world, uh, they joined either this party or that party. Uh, that was the battlefield. Uh, so this is the um, picture of the battlefield of Purushatra and Krishna uh, is ordered by uh, Arjuna to place the chariot in between the two soldiers. Now, after seeing the soldiers and the kings and other party, uh, Arjuna is agreed so much so that he did not like to fight and he was crying. Now, Dhritarashtra asked Sanyo, then what happened next? Uh, Dhritarashtra was very much anxious. Uh, he said, dharma khetri puru khetri samavita yudhusvara. Now these two parties, yudhusvara, they, they, they were, both of them were desirous of fighting, yudhusvara. Uh, the one party is mamaka, my sons, and the other party is Pandava, the sons of uh, my brother Pandu. Mamaka uh, Pandava Shaiva. Uh, now the word is used, Jujutsava. They assemble uh, for fighting. Then what is the use of asking, King Akurvata? Then what did they do? It is natural to conclude that uh, when they assemble for fighting, there must be fight. But uh, why he was asking King Akurvata? The suspect was that because the parties assemble in the dharmakshetra, so they might have changed their ideas. Uh, still in India, if there is two fighting parties, they go to a temple and uh, ask that you say the right thing. So in the temple, still in the villages, they do not dare to speak lies. Yes, the fighting and the misunderstanding and become settled up. So, uh, Dhritarashtra was thinking whether the two parties, they are settled up. He did not like that. He wanted that the Pandavas should be killed. And my sons, uh, 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 they should come out victorious so that there will be no uh, enemy. Uh, he was very much anxious to place his sons on the throne. Uh, because he was blind, he could not acquire the throne. His younger brother was situated on the throne. Now, after the death of his younger brother, he thought that I missed the opportunity of sitting on the throne. Why not my sons? They have got uh, actual right. Uh, that is the uh, background of this Kurukshetra that uh, he was always uh, devising some means, uh, how the sons of Pandu, his nephews, could be uh, separated and his sons would sit on the throne. That was his idea. Therefore he inquired, King of Urvata. Otherwise there is no question of inquiring, King of Urvata. They went there to fight, they would fight. Then. But he was suspecting if they had made any compromise, uh, that he did not like. Uh, that he didn't lie. Therefore he asked, come, uh, uh, he wanted that there must be five. And there are five brothers, my sons have one hundred in number. So they would be killed and my sons will be without any uh, rivalry. Uh, this is the background of Purukshetra. Uh, the another thing is, the dharma, effect of dharmakshetra was visible in Arjuna. Dharmakshetra. He, because he is devotee of Krishna, jashyati bhakti bhagavati akanchana sarvai gunai tatra samasati siddha. Because he is devotee of Krishna, therefore he felt, oh, what is this? Why should I kill this, my brother? Uh, because he was devotee. This sentiment came into the mind of 
অর্জুন নট অন দি আদার সাইড দুর্যোধন হিনে ব্যথা অল দো দে আর ফ্লেস বোথ অফ দেম ফ্লেস এট ধর্মক্ষেত্র দি এফেক্ট অফ ধর্মক্ষেত্র ওয়াজ ম্যানিফেস্ট ইন দি বডি অফ অর্জুন নট দুর্যোধন দিস ইজ ইফ ওয়ান ইজ পিওর দেন দি এফেক্ট অফ ধর্ম বিকমস ম্যানিফেস্ট ভেরি কুইক নমান দৃষ্টি না মূঢ়া প্রবর্দন্তে নরাধমা কৃষ্ণ শেষ দোজ ওয়া টু মাচ সিম্পুল সিম্পুল সিম্পলি দ্যার লাইফ ইজ সিম্পুল দুষ্কৃতি ন দুষ্কৃতি ন কৃতি কৃতি মিন্স ওয়ান হ্যাজ দ গুড ব্রেন বাট দুষ্কৃতি ন বাট দি ব্রেন ইজ অ্যাপ্লাইড ফর মিস্টিভাস অ্যাক্টিভিটিস ফর মিস্টিভাস অ্যাক্টিভিটিস ইট অলসো রিকোয়ার্স গুড ব্রেন এন্ড সিমিলারলি ফর পায়াস অ্যাক্টিভিটিস দ্যাট অলসো রিকোয়ার ব্রেন বাট দোজ হু আর অ্যাপ্লাইং দ্য ব্রেন ফর মিস্টিভাস অ্যাক্টিভিটিস দে আর কল দুষ্কৃতি দুষ্কৃতি ন নমান দুষ্কৃতি ন মূঢ়া ওয়াই দে ডু সো বিকজ দে আর মূঢ়া রেস্টেন্স ইফ ওয়ান হ্যাজ কল গুড ব্রেন হি শুড অ্যাপ্লাই ফর গুড ওয়ান বাট সমটাইম দে আর ইউটিলাইজ just like a tree he has got good brain a rock he has got good brain uh, uh, but he is applying for mischievous activity uh, for making people unhappy uh, that is not the right use uh, gyana khala they are called gyana khala one who has got nice knowledge it should be utilized for better purpose uh, so the effect of kurukshetra dharma khetra was visible in the person of arjuna not in the person of durjana that is the difference uh, therefore uh, uh, he was trying so i am put in such a position that i have to fight and i have to kill uh, my brothers my nephews my grandfather who was too much affected uh, although it is weakness uh, but it is not actually weakness it is compassion arjun was not a coward neither he was uh, less heroic than the other side but uh, out of compassion because he was devotee he bhot is that for a dukh dukhi the victim come up with devotee he is there unhappy by seeing others are that is the symptom of the boy generally person if he sees somebody happy he becomes unhappy matsarata that is the whole situation if i see my brother is very happy he has improved in his material condition then i become unhappy uh, he has advanced so much and i could not do so this is material situation uh, Matthias and envious, Grihamedhi, everyone is envious. Uh, either you take person to person or neighbor to neighbor, their sympathy uh, is less sympathy. Uh, actually everyone is envious, businessman to businessman, nation to nation. This is material work. Uh, therefore, uh, spiritual advancement means for person who is not envious, not in paravanirma sanarang satang vastava vastu vedam in the samad bhagavatam we say that if you want to know the real truth vastava vastu uh, the one must become uh, uh, parama nirmatsara nirmat matsar matsar means envious and nirmatsara uh, not envious and parama first class ধর্ম প্রোজিত করিতব অত্র পরম নির্মোৎসনানাম শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম হু আর দি ক্যান্ডিডেট টু আন্ডারস্ট্যান্ড দিস সায়েন্স অফ গড শ্রীমদ ভাগবতম ইট ইজ নট ফর দি পার্সন হু আর ইন ট্যাঙ্গল ইন চিটিং রিলিজিয়াস সিস্টেম cheating 
Dharma Koitava. Koitava means cheating. Uh, uh, so cheating type of religious system are kicked out from this book, Srimad Bhagavatam. Uh, but it is meant for persons who are not envious. Parama Nirmatsaranam Satam. Vastava Mostu, one who wants to learn real reality, not false reality. Uh, this, here in this material world, everything is false reality. Uh, uh, just like we are trying to find out water in the desert. That is the example, my way. False There is no water. But the, the animal, he sees that there is water, fast water, and he runs after it and dies. So, here in this material also world, every one of us running after the false myriad, that there is happiness, there is happiness, there is happiness. This is called material condition, and we are envious. Uh, uh, this is the position, and uh, therefore Krishna begins the Bhagavad Gita to get out of this uh, ignorance and uh, enviousness, and this is the basic principle of uh, Bhagavad Gita. So, we shall discuss tomorrow again. Thank you very much.